Jack, get that train pointed toward the hangar. Beautiful. All that's left now is to get it back to the hangar. Trains a step ahead of us. Oh, shit. Come on, we can catch up to it in the skiff. Thank you. 
Last one's down. We're good here. Good news, children. I don't know how you did it, but my scouts have just informed me that your rocket train safely entered the hangar. Glad to hear it, Panic. That's the end of my good news. You have another task. Go secure the hammer's targeting beacons. Targeting beacons? But for the Hammer of Dawn? Our system was based on targeting beacons. I was saving that info until we knew you could get the rocket. So where are these beacons? In the southwest, cosmonaut training facility. And to be clear, if we don't secure those beacons, we don't have a Hammer of Dawn. Okay, we're on it. <laughs> when she figures out we're getting the hammer online. Again. Son of a tool shifted her thinking a bit. Obviously, no thanks to me. Meanwhile, I often wonder who stuffed that gigantic stick up her ass. Confirm <laughs> no comment from Captain Phoenix on that one. Paddock, Baird. We're heading into the training facility for the beacons. Good to know. We are standing by. I've been wondering, how the hell did all this UIR space program stuff not get out? I mean, how did the COG keep it secret? Simple, when the COG also runs the newspapers. And historians have to apply for a permit to write books. Secrets? Secrets are easy to keep. Well, guys, check out this crater. What the heck happened here? The COG happened. They fired a light mass missile on us when we were moments from seizing control of that entire facility. Wait, I'm confused. The cog? I thought this was a UIR civil war. The losers don't write the history books, Vescari. You, of all people, should know that. Glad you could rope my ethnicity into the discussion again. Yeah, thanks for that. See what we got in here. Help me. Okay, Paddock. We're here. Listen. During our attack, I was certain the beacons were somewhere inside that place. But that computer virus locked us out of every building before I could get to them. And until your bot deals with that, you won't get to them either. You hear that, buddy? Fate's in your tiny metal hands. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby security office.
if your bot sent out a pulse? Maybe that will show us the way to get in there. sent Jack through that vent. Guys, what if we sent Jack through that vent? Jack, see if that vent will get you to the security office. How to, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The center fuse building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. Facilities activating, Delta. See? I knew Jack could do it. No sweat. Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. Then you now have full access to the entire facility. There's gotta be the centrifuge. And storm or no storm, we're heading over there. That's not a good sign. Red condor up there. Yo, Bear, you lose a condor by any chance? Several, in fact, while running weapons to a certain, you know, desert-dwelling friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. Uh, okay. Solid copy. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Let's make it quick. Haven't run into any swarm yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't hold your breath. Between Paddock's Civil War and the weather, it crawled in anywhere.
Okay, swarm assholes will be wiped clean. I'm aware of how that sounded. Yeah, let's just move on. Okay, I'd appreciate that. me up here. <laughs> oh, hard shell spacesuits? How advanced was the UIR space program? So, all the exits are blocked, now what? Jack, activate that crane. Uh -huh. Well, that didn't work. Then we try another one. Let's hope this one holds. Jack, let's do it again.
Get in there, Jack. That's the ticket. There's some controls at the base. Stop this thing. 
thing. Beacons are okay. Come on. <clears throat> Jack, tell me the beacons are fine. Oh, thank God. Paddock, Baird, beacons are secure. They're also a hell of a lot bigger than I was expecting. I don't think we have room for them all on the skiff. I'll have my people transport them. Fine, but Delta, I need one here ASAP to get a head start on calibrating them to our network in New Ephira. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll uh, carry it to the skiff. Well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta, let's get back to the skiff. 
You know, if Paddock's sending folks out here, we should probably Jack, clear out the rest of the swarm. Need some light in here. Enough people tonight. Yeah, sorry guys. I'm not gonna be much using a firefight at the moment. Stay close to me, mate. You're covered. the way. Well, storm's no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. Okay, Delta. Our way out's on the other side. We got swarm, people! Get behind those sand glass things! They're called poker right! Yeah,
Skiff's not much farther. Yeah, easy for you to say. JD, how's the beacon? Not damaged. That's the important part. Kind of relying on you to keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Made of the world, no pressure. Hear that? Storm's died down. Yeah, now that we prove it. Come on, let's check on the skiff. other side. Come on, Delta. Let's get back to the skiff. You know something, Kate? Pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah, that's probably why you're good at it. When we're done sharing the corporate compliments, we should decide whether we're heading straight back to the airfield or not. Faz is right. Oh, man. I'm saying it into my soul. Fortunately, it doesn't happen often. So there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the cog border? Vascari technology, my friend. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities, and said, oh, hello, we'll take that, piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. So our paddock's nomads up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I mean, they seem pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving. For anyone. Baird trusts Paddock, we trust Baird. It's all about a transit of property, we trust Paddock's nomads. The tr transit transitive what? Books, Foz. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. Now, honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads till they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. Or three. Ah. 
Yeah, I noticed something, but the swarm seem different. Smarter, more cunning. Yeah, rocking spiffy new weapons and armor, too. Attic warned us about that. Said it started happening like a few days ago. When we were at Mount Kadar. Wait, you don't think it's connected to? To when they got their queen back? Yeah, I know it is. And it's only gonna get worse if we don't get the hammer back online. Andrew, it's just ahead. <laughs> Mark the skip as close as you can. I think it's kind of heavy. And so we meet again. Ready to go. Get that thing to Baird. Lead the way. <laughs> Paddock, where's Baird? In back. He was explaining to me the new modification he made for your little pot frame. It was boring, so I came out here. We should probably unload this targeting beacon ASAP. And you think that's going to save the world? Baird, we're here with the beacon. Excellent. I'll meet you around back. Wait, if Baird's going back to New Ophira with the beacon, how are we getting back? Well, if there's a raven about, I can fly us home. Oh, no. Didn't you crash your basic training? Oh, I had a slight miss. Set that targeting beacon down. I'll deal with it in a bit. Gladly. Yeah, uh, listen, kid. You still got a rocket to launch, and I need to get back to New Ophira. Yeah, right. Of course. JD, we're fine. I'm just working through it. We can talk later. I... appreciate that. Thanks. Paddock said you were working on something? Yeah, uh, a new and improved shield prototype for Jack. Go ahead, install it. Install that Installed. Tell us about it. It's actually very interesting. First, it creates an ionized vector. Baird! Cancel class and get out here! Swarm coming in! The short version, it stops bullets. Now get out there and use it! Delta, come on! Shield! Ah, success! On the very first test, too! Wait! You never tested it? You come into my house on 
uninvited. You pay the price. They're coming back! before Baird loses his ride home! Smoke up ahead. Shit. Yeah, it's a convoy, all right.
Attack pulse. and see what we can do. I'm gonna leave this one here. Okay, that'll work. Look, they're still fighting. We gotta help them. done here. Let's get back on the skiff. Delta, I'm heading out. I'll be in touch. All right, Baird. Safe travels. You too, and good luck. So, what's the plan now? The hangar. It's time to put that rocket together. Sounds good to me. What about Paddock's Nomads? They have stuck their necks out for us. Maybe we'll own something for that. Sure, but if we don't get our rocket launched soon, it's not just Paddock's Nomads we'll be worrying about. I'll navigate.
You know, I may have complained a bit. Or a lot. Or a lot, thank you, Del. But this has actually been a pretty whipping time, all in all. To sum it up, 8 out of 10. We'll do it again. And it's been surprisingly not terrible having you along. Yeah, I'll take that, yeah. Side. Let's finish this. Paddock, we're back at the hangar. Everything should be ready. Good. Baird left instructions he asked me to read him. And I quote, Get inside. Initiate the rocket assembly procedure. Launch aforementioned rocket and hope these satellites talk to ours. End quote. Wait. Oh? The satellites talk to ours? What do you want from me? I can barely turn on a computer. Go press the button and see what happens. And there we are. Everyone's favorite rocket. Let's get down to the platform and throw a switch. Yeah, see what happens. Snatcher in here! Son of a bitch! You know, I, I think it did that on purpose. Who gives a shit? We need to get that nose cone back into place! Get over here! <laughs> 
We got them all. We gotta get on that gantry and realign the nose cone. Rocket delivered. What now? Now we raise it into position. Manually, from the looks of it. Which Come means on. we need to find the control room. Yeah, initiate launch. And then head back to base. Oh, bloody hell. No one told me hanging with you lot would be so much work. Okay, well, the UIR definitely didn't design this with a jack interface in mind. All right, Jack, go ahead. Don't be shy. supposed to happen, right? Doesn't make it any less weird. Thank you. And there you go. One rocket successfully raised. Get the hell out of there, now! 
Time to get off this goddamn tower. Come on!
Are you keeping score? So this is no affair. Home to industrialists, techno-fascists, reactionaries, and cowards. Yeah, also decent food, clean water, and showers. Eh, overrated. Delta, welcome home. Get cleaned up, then come to my workshop. I'll send someone for the beacons. Copy that, Baird. After you. Hey. Thank you, by the way. Oh, there's no need to thank me. Aww. Is the band back together then? Should I take a picture for your scrapbooks? God, you're an asshole. Oh, stop falling in love with me. Honestly, it's embarrassing. So what's the deal? Are those satellites hooking up yet? Well, they're definitely buying each other drinks. All right, kids, gather around. And now, observe. Sure, nice demo, Baird, but uh, is it gonna work? Well, for that, we're gonna need a test fire. Forget test fires. We need an actual target. Uh, if we're selecting target, shouldn't someone with real military authority be here? It's Foz, right? <clears throat> yeah, I guess so. Shut the fuck up, Foz. Yep, sir. The swarm have their queen. That means they've got a special hive somewhere. A nexus. Some place where they're vulnerable. Okay, so how do we find it? We don't. Because you might already know. How would I know? Look, I'm gonna level with you. While you were gone, Jin was raising holy hell about getting you hooked back up to the hive mind. I'm sorry, what? Don't worry, I talked her out of it. But I need you to think about what you saw in that vision. Every detail. Is there anything that helps us? No. I mean... I mean, I don't think so. We'll take it from here, Sergeant. Uh, excuse me, do you not knock? First Ministers don't need to knock. Really disagree. Jin, I told you, it's not gonna happen. And what about you? Well, considering the thing that linked me to the hive mind is dead, we killed it, by the way, you're welcome. And considering that I don't trust you at all, I'll have to decline. Arrest her. What? Jin, are you nuts? Ma'am? Iris, what's happening? Multiple security breaches. Old Afira ruins. External camera 16. External camera 15. Camera 10! God damn it! They're here. And we're going out there. Yeah, okay, I get it. 
You can help us end this. <gasps> Lady, what the fuck do you think I've been doing? Delta, gather around. Tell me we got a plan. We do. This is a targeting beacon. Yeah, no shit. We're the ones who brought him back from Vasco. Give me a break, Lieutenant. I just work here. The point is, we gotta plant these things all over the old city. Just handed Cole and Foz theirs. So, where do we plant our beacon? East Barricade Academy. Once it's in place, they'll have a live hammer radius. And you can start hitting back. We clear? Clear. I'm not gonna lie, it's real ugly out there. Then we watch each other's backs, like always. Help me plant this beacon down the street. 